Aries, it is April 13th here in Colorado. Look at that snow. Isn't that crazy? All right, they are talking about the meat plants are shutting down, so I am making a trip to Walmart. I know, I have a love-hate relationship with Walmart, but it seems to be both stocked here, so I'm going to go stock up on meat. They're talking about now we may, I don't know, they may be completely ruining the economy at this point. So <laughs> I'm going in and I'm going to stock up on shampoo and a bunch of things like that just to have our um, pantry restocked again. I was letting everything go down because of moving, but I'm going to go in, see what I can find. Hopefully I can find something. Wow, look at all that toilet paper. Woo! Look at all that toilet paper. Wow, that's pretty impressive. All right, so I'm gonna get as meat, much meat as I can. So I'm grabbing some bags and I'm gonna bite up the meat and put it in the freezer. Well, I came in for chicken and they have none. So I found some over here that I'm gonna go get. All right. So they have chicken quarters right there, 436. I'm gonna pick those up. Eggs have been really hard to find and they actually have some in stock. So what I'm doing is I'm getting the largest number that I can. So it's limit. Well, they don't say one per person. They just said, please be respectful. So I might just get two, but I'm getting the biggest ones they have. So I'm getting 60 instead of 12 so that I can get as many as I can without taking them all. Guys, here's a perfect example. This garlic here is 28 cents an ounce. Everybody grabs the big one. Now, if that's all they had, I would get it. But this one is, uh, I can't tell. Oh, the garlic is 34 cents an ounce. That's crazy expensive. So when you're stocking up, Make sure your prices, you get the one with the best price. Don't forget salt, guys. And make it iodized because the reason why they do iodize salt is because people were having thyroid issues because they didn't have enough iodine in their diet. Make sure you get the right nutrients in your diet also. So get iodized salt. All right, guys. There we go. Getting stocked up. Believe it or not, most of these items, I only have two of each, but I'm getting two of everything that we normally use just to be on the safe side. I'm going to check out and come back and get shampoo and stuff. Holy cow, I am pooped right there. All right, but I still got to go back in and get shampoo and all that fun stuff. So I'm going to put this in the car and run back in. All right, I came back in and they put out chick chicken breast tenderloins. It's 20 cents, 20 cents a pound more, so that's what, 60 cents more. But I don't have to repackage these like I do that chicken. So I don't normally repackage that chicken. I'll see. But these are just easier to use, so for 60 cents, it's worth the ease of use. Okay, guys, load number two. Whew. I am pooped, but I am stocked up, got a bunch of meat, got a bunch of stuff like shampoo, which I don't necessarily need because I have all my soap, but I just got some just in case, Q-tips, deodorant, and of course, half price Easter candy and half price fertilizer. Yay! So, doing pretty good. I think we're ready to go. cow. Alright, I got four basket loads of stuff. Here's my second 
second one. There we go. Now, frankly, I probably don't have to go to the grocery store for a year. That's great, except for fruits and vegetables. I'm growing some in my garden, but here's the thing, guys. If they're talking depression and they're talking closing the meat plants, you need to get yourself out there and buy as much meat and stock up on as much as you can. Now, I'm not saying go and buy all things, all crazy with flour, but if you have a choice between a five pound bag of flour or a 20 pound bag of flour, get the 20 pound bag of flour. If you have a choice between a jar of yeast and the packets of yeast, get the jar of yeast. Stock up. Don't say you weren't warned, and don't tell me you don't have the money to do it if you've been out eating and all that kind of stuff. Now, if you're unemployed or whatever, I totally understand. Just do what you can, but don't go blow, blow your stimulus check on a new TV. Use it to pay your bills. Use it to pay for food, that kind of thing. So, I'm going to do a little bit more when I get home, but there we are. Holy cow. All right, here's part of the first two. I put all the breads and chips back in there. But this is the first half, okay? All right, so here's my freezer before. See, we got a long way to fill up. We got a long way to fill up. So I'm gonna reorganize again. And we're gonna take all that stuff from the trunk and we're gonna put it in there. So the kids are piling it here. And it's going in here. All right, so here's the final. Looking pretty good. Got all the vegetables up here with a couple of chickens. Uh, more chicken down here. You can see we eat a lot of chicken. More chicken down there and all my roasts. Now, I still have room. So if somebody runs back to Walmart, I'll take these 25 cent rolls out and we'll eat those or make croutons out of them and use that for meat instead. I have this huge bag of chicken right here. This is 10 pounds. It's going in the fridge and freezer in the house. This is going in the fridge in the house. We're going to make roast beef and use these buns for barbecue beef or French dip. My turkey and my gluten-free bread are coming out and going in the fridge. I got it all in there, guys. Are you proud of me? I'm so happy. Satisfying, but... You're saying hi? Now your little tummy will not starve. For a whole week. For a, a week? You can tell Dave's a teenager. All right, guys. Right there. Right there. There's right more there. in the garage. More in the garage. Ellie's already put a bunch up. There's a bunch over on the counter. So we're going to go put this up. Woo! This doesn't have All right. So I made it back from the grocery store, Walmart. Never was shopping there again, but Walmart is the one place that keeps having stuff stocked and you don't have to wait for people to come in and out. They're just letting whoever in. So, went to Walmart. I spent almost $1,000. I think it was like $850 or $900. But we are stocked up. My freezer is full. Hopefully the freezer door will get left open. Um, and quite frankly, I could go back and probably get a little bit more. And I might in a couple of days. But here's the thing. We have the money. If the meat markets are closing down because people are sick. I mean the meat, the butcher processing plants. The meat processing plants. If they're closing down because people are sick. And now they're talking depression. Which I won't get into that here. But it's our own darn to fault for that. But anyway. If they're talking that, go stock up on what you can. I got deodorant, I got razors, I got Q-tips, I got stuff that would make life easier and is cheaper right now so that we won't have to go buy it for a while. And then if we do go into that, then we're set so we don't have to worry about it. So 
I feel good. I feel stocked up. Pretty much all I would need to do is get vegetables and eggs and milk and that's it. I mean, we're good. So doesn't mean I'm not going to keep stocking, restocking as we use it, but at least I feel good now that I'm stocked up. So if something happens, we're going to be good. So be sure to check out our Dining on a Dime cookbook. All the recipes I use to stock my that I use out of the stock of my pantry. All the recipes are in there. Dining on a dime at livingonadime.com.